turn to meteorologist David Bigger in the First Alert Weather Center. David. And Carolyn, let's start you exactly. off right with the uh, drought monitor for California. What you'll notice is across the Central Valley, we have a lot of this red coloring on here, which is an indication of extreme drought. It's been a concern because as we've gone through the last month or so, this red area has expanded. Originally, it was just two red patches, but now it's essentially just all the Central Valley. You see additional red here, and we have a lot of the state in this orange coloring, so that means that it's severe drought or higher for much of California. So how did we get here? Well, statewide, we've only seen about 74% of our average rainfall. Obviously, we've seen that in Southern California. Some spots have seen a pretty decent winter, especially up north. But when you average out the state, it's about 74% of normal. One other thing we're concerned about is the reservoir levels. This is essentially where the water is going to be coming from over the next couple of months. Keep in mind, most of the reservoirs, including Shasta, Oroville, and Trinity, the three largest reservoirs in California, typically see their maximum levels reach sometime during late April into May. That's when we get the snow melt coming off of the mountains, filling the reservoirs, and it starts to match essentially the usage. And what you can see is that really at the maximum, we're only looking at being about 50% of capacity at Shasta. Oroville's down around 40% right now, and Trinity's at 31%. So obviously we have some concerns going through the next couple of months, but there is still the chance that we could potentially get some rainfall, especially as we get into that monsoonal season. It's just not going to amount to much. That's the latest on the drought. Back over to you. All right, David.